In the jog on videos, there is one feature that has remained consistent, my running watch. Whether it be on the side of a mountain, by the beach, in the thick mud, or even in front of the Eden project, then something happened. I don't know if it was during filming, but I noticed it the other day. The damage my watch sustained was a tear to the strap on one side. It hasn't completely come away, but it is quite a significant rip that could well get worse and come off completely if I don't do something about it now. And what better opportunity than for a colour change? And of course, I had to go for orange. Fantastically, it comes with its own screwdriver, and these are very tiny screws, so I'm going to have to be very careful with how I do this. But just before I start this watch strap replacement, there is one thing missing. Let's roll the sleeves up. First of all, it comes with some of the smallest screws I've ever seen. The replacement straps themselves. And then this handy, beautiful orange screwdriver. That watch strap will just pop off. Now the trickiest part is getting this off because what happens is this white plastic bit is actually embedded in the strap itself. And where, of course, my strap actually ripped away and broke, it means the strap's not there to pull it off like I was able to do with this strap. So that means one thing, pliers or teeth. And right now, I don't have any pliers. There we go. It's amazing when you look at a watch like this, you realize just how small that computer is. We think of watches as a little bit bigger because the strap is actually a fairly lengthy bit to wrap the wrist. But once you take it away, you realize these things are tiny. Before we apply the new strap, this is a perfect opportunity to clear away some of the gunk that has built up and developed over the years. Of course, there will be some dust in there as well as some of the remaining glue. Now, fortunately, I often carry around with me a toothbrush. I don't. This is useful for just cleaning those small areas. Just made the toothbrush a little bit wet. Excellent. Now that's clean and ready to go and get out our new lovely orange watch strap. You can already see how the watch is going to come together. That's quite exciting. And then the plan is that this watch will appear in many of the videos, of course, once Parkrun is open again. I'm sure you'll see this watch featuring. These orange straps should hopefully just click into place nicely. What a satisfying click. Beautiful. Look at that. And it turns on as if it's been revived. So now it's a case of using the tiny screws to secure those straps in place. I think there's really something quite interesting about fixing your own kit. It really starts to give you an appreciation for the things that you use. And I know that running is very pure. There is a beauty to the simplicity. For most people, it's a pair of trainers and the running watch. Well, with a final turn of the screwdriver, I do believe that that is done. This will sit proudly atop my wrist for many future videos, whether they be park runs, something mad in the garden, a good tea, even if I do say so myself. Well, that's that. We are a very small channel, so if you can do us one small favor, that would be to hit subscribe. And if you really want to help us out, share a video with a friend who might also enjoy one of the jog on videos. Thank you for watching. I'm Harry Morgan. That's the new orange strap on the running watch and jog on. Here it is. And of course, I had to go.